Former Attorney General Professor Gidu Mwigai led the legal teams representing the Poles body, IEBC, and its chair, Wafula Chebukati, in mounting a defense against allegations leveled against him that he bungled the August 9th election and unconstitutionally declared William Ruto president-elect. Professor Gidu Mwigai says neither the commission nor the chair had done anything wrong, laying blame on the political class disgruntled by the outcome of the polls. And as Chem Goin reports, the lawyers urged the courts to dismiss the consolidated petitions, saying the chairperson of the IBC had dutifully performed his duties. Thank you very much. We appreciate the donation. It was the turn of the respondents to counter claims made by the petitioners against their client. The Poles body IEBC and its chairman Wafula Chebukati, who have been heavily criticized for the manner in which the August 9th election was carried out, saying the eventual outcome which William Ruto was declared president-elect did not reflect the will of the people. The battalion of lawyers representing the Poles body and its chairman Terming the targeted attacks on Chebukati as witch hunt. This after the petitioners in the case urged the court to declare him unfit to serve, proposing that he be barred from holding public office. There is nothing wrong with IEBC. There is nothing wrong with Wafula Chabukati. There is something very wrong. There is something very wrong in the way the persons who participate in the electoral process accept winning or losing. That's the problem. At an appropriate time, when all this is over, I entertain no doubt that an independent group of people looking at the work that Mr. Wafula Chebukati has done for our nation will recognize him as one of our outstanding heroes in the history of our nation. The chairperson of the IBC, who is the returning officer for the presidential election, even this court recognized that is the role he plays. So it is not himself who styled himself. Even this court recognized that role and says it's constitutionally mandated under the 3810 of the Constitution of Kenya to declare the result of the presidential election and deliver a written notification of the result to the Chief Justice and the incumbent president. Because as we go into elections this year, in 2027, we need to then sanitize some of these things that we do. And one of the ways of sanitizing them is by holding people to account. So that if you present evidence that is obviously not true or that is falsified, then you must stop to ask yourself whether there would be a consequence or not. The advocates reading malice in the actions of the four commissioners who distanced themselves from the declaration of president-elect, saying it was an orchestrated move by some forces to bungle the polls. You asked yesterday, how come we had not heard of this dysfunctional commission earlier? Because it was a process that was going on and at the point of disagreement is at the point where now we have rupture. And from that point onwards, those commissioners are part of the scheme and this time instead of announcing the wrong results it is aimed at getting this court to overturn the the results the protection intended by article 13810 of the constitution worked in these circumstances we got a declaration made because it is the obligation of the chairman to make that declaration and anybody unhappy with that declaration, the option available to them is to come to the court and the court will determine the issue. The option cannot be that a number of the commissioners can decide we are the majority and we are going to walk away and therefore there will be no declaration of a result. That is capturing the constitution. The vilification against this gentleman goes beyond anything we have ever had before in this courthouse. It was personalized. It was vindictive. It intended to lower his standing in our community and within the legal profession. 
Senior Council Kamau Karori saying the constitution vindicated Chabukati as it outlined his role in the management, tallying and verification of the presidential election results. And it is unfair to vilify Chabukati for doing what the constitution told him to do. That if you are satisfied that the threshold in Article 1384 has been met, and if you are satisfied that there is somebody who has been elected uh, to be president, you need to make that declaration. Just like the declaration is made at the polling station, constituency level, county level, and at the presidential level. The leaders cheekily hitting out of their fellow learned friends, elected to various positions in the recently concluded polls, asking them to state their position on the integrity of the election. Are they happy with their own election? <laughs> if they are, how then is it that this election is irredeemably flawed? While admitting that the election may not have been perfect, they maintained that the shortcomings did not warrant a nullification. With the petitioners and respondents having argued their case before the seven-judge bench, Friday is set aside for the parties to file any additional responses with the guidance of the judges before they retreat to draft their report. The judge is having the option of nullifying the election awarded to William Ruto if they find sufficient evidence of massive irregularities in the August 9th election. And if not, they can uphold his victory and he will be sworn in as Kenya's fifth president.